Hello, I am doing clothing upcycling today. I've been wanting to upcycle some of my clothes because I've always been the type of person who's been cutting my clothes impulsively, so that's not gonna stop. The first thing I wanna do is cut this shirt up. As you can already tell, it's been cut up before, <laughs> the hem and the neck, but I'm gonna add more holes into it. <laughs> Wait, is this a little big? I've been watching Biba Doobie recently and I really like the tattered like aesthetic that she has in some stuff. Honestly, this isn't that bad. I don't like how flat this is, so I'm gonna do another rip here. I feel like I'm trying to redefine clothing for myself in terms of like artistic expression. Too often, I just wear tank top and shorts because I know that's what looks good on me. But at the same time, a lot of people talk about how clothing is a way of expression for them and I've never really felt that, so I feel like it'd be cool to actually experience that. Should I just rip off the sleeve? Yeah, honestly, I feel like making YouTube videos like, made me want to be more creative because with every creative thing I try, I can make a video out of it and technically it's productive, which is what I'm doing right now. Like I was not really intending on filming today, but I decided to go with my inspiration basically and I was like, I feel like doing my clothing right now. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I don't like this little flap. This is the most unconventional upside I feel like I've ever done or seen. I've never seen someone just cut their shirt in front of the camera. I definitely see myself walking around California like this. There's literally just no fabric in this area. I would definitely wear this around. Oh my gosh. Wait, I like this a lot. I kind of want another rip back here. I kind of feel like life is more fun when you give less fucks. And I kind of want to embody that. Like, I feel like I don't give that many fucks as of now, but I, mean, I feel like I'm channeling my inner, like, free spirit by cutting up this piece of cloth off my body, you know? <laughs> I feel like my whole childhood was kind of, like, bound by expectation. Like, this is how you have to act. This is how you should be. This is what you should do. I've always had, like, a thing where I just stop myself from doing what I want because I think doing what I want isn't a good thing. I want another one here. Now that I'm growing up, I feel like I'm trying to unlearn all those restrictions that I placed on myself, I guess. For example, I'm really conscious of the way I look when I'm singing or having fun. So I won't be able to like just sing and let my heart out and be like, ah, you know, because I'm conscious of people watching me. And I was too scared to dance confidently or just move my body. I feel like I had a pressure to just act right and stuff like that. But I want to sing without feeling restriction or that type of thing and just dance my soul out. But yeah, I feel like I've been getting a lot better at just being in tune with what my body wants and needs, doing whatever the fuck I feel like and just trusting myself. Like if I want something, I'll go do it or I'll go get it. Whenever I would have crushes, I would have such a strong like denial to myself like, some people if they have a crush they like go after them incessantly but for me if i have a crush i would avoid them like the plague because i thought i had to deny myself everything that i wanted just staying in tune with that and being confident in the things i want i think was something that's been pretty transformational for me the shirts and tatters <laughs> i like it though I kind of wish this hole was a little smaller, but it's okay. Actually, no, I don't. This is how it's meant to be. I like this. I feel like rips on a tighter shirt would be cool too. Yay! It's my first shirt. We got to the second one. This is the second piece that I'm gonna be changing today. It's stained and I'm embarrassed if I wear it out. And I really like this top, like the shape of it on me. So it makes me really sad that I can't wear it. So I'm just gonna paint over the stains. Thing, haha. <laughs> Not me still ripping this shirt. I don't think I can wear this around my parents. I remember the first time I got my ripped jeans and I got this long sleeve with holes in it, but they were like tiny. They are like, why would you buy something with holes? And now, Moving on to this one. I'm gonna sit down and I got my acrylics because acrylics don't wash out of fabric. And we're gonna go towards painting. This is the best camera angle I could get, so we're gonna have to make do. I've decided that this is gonna be an Alice in Wonderland themed tank top, but it's gonna be like a little crazy. So the back is gonna be Cheshire Cat's face. I feel like it'd be cool, like someone's walking behind me and Cheshire Cat's face is just staring at them. Ooh, I just found a cool ass picture. Wait, I'm gonna attach it. This is hella cool, I'm doing this. Wait, this is so so cool. I don't know why. I'm so inspired by this creepy shit right now. Okay, I'm kind of getting scared now. <laughs> I'm looking at it and it's dark outside. Wait, I'm a little freaked out right now. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, I'm so excited right now. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I feel like I'm kind of notorious for jumping into things. I gotta get my proportions right on this because I don't have multiple tries. 
Okay, this is a little hard too because the reference that I'm looking on is like really sideways. Okay, it's fine. I think like whatever I mess up on, I can just like paint over with white paint. It will be okay. Okay. Oh, you can see the stains right now. Oh wait, that's just a tag. Never mind. I've encountered a lot of different Alice in Wonderland influences in my various consumption of media. I've watched Arcane, which that tea party that Jinx was in. I really like the manic vibes it gave. And I really like the song Mad Hatter by Melanie Martinez. I just loved how edgy the lyrics were. Like, we paint white roses red, each shade from a different person's head. You can be Alice, I'll be the Mad Hatter. You think I'm psycho, you think I'm gone. Tell the psychiatrist something is wrong. I'm actually extremely proud of myself for this. With you, I don't ever feel calm. I can feel the sweat inside my palm. It's time to Play fuck up this shirt. What I think I want to do is just first crop it, right? But I think I also want it to just be distressed on the bottom because I think that's cool. <laughs> I watched Top Gun Maverick literally yesterday for some reason. The whole movie just made me think I want to fight for the things I want and push my limits to be the best version of myself that I can be because I feel like the whole movie was basically Maverick teaching these pilots how to push limits that they'd never pushed before. And I don't know, it was just really inspiring to me. And yeah, I kind of just ignited some burning passion inside of me to like fight for my dreams. I really wanted to have a platform on YouTube, so that's what I'm doing. So right now I'm kind of just like picking at the raw edge and trying to like make a more distressed feel. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but we're just gonna see how it goes. I have a friend who is pretty into the gym and he taught me that every time I'm at the gym, I need to push myself to my limits. I used to not sweat at the gym at all, which obviously means I'm not pushing myself enough because if i'm not uncomfortable then i'm not growing the way this manifests is like number one i fucking hate cardio i was doing a run on nine percent incline or something like that and i literally wanted to pass away in my head i was like girl if you can't reach half a mile without slowing down if you don't have the self-control to keep pushing past this then are you gonna have the self-control to like push yourself to accomplish other things that are hard it also kind of just manifests in when i'm doing weightlifting basically i have a set of numbers in my head i usually try to do four sets of whatever i'm doing and if the weights are on the lighter side, then I should try to hit 12 reps. But if it's on the heavier side, I should try to hit like eight. Every time I'm doing reps and stuff like that, I'm like, you have to keep going, keep going until I reach the amount of sets. And sometimes like, I don't want to do the fourth set or something. I was also thinking about the concept that like, it's good to know your limits sometimes. And maybe sometimes it just takes a process to get there. I don't know. And I also know that willpower is something that you can build. So it's just like, the gym's a place where I can continuously test my willpower and try to push my boundaries. I feel like that's one of the most primitive things I can experience these days, just exercise. And I think that relates a lot to the way I felt in Top Gun Maverick. I like that this is a crop top, but it doesn't look as cool as I thought it would. Okay, as you can tell, I'm like kind of into distressing, so I might try distressing this. But much smaller holes than that other distress because that was just like a little overboard, but you know what, who cares? I learned how to rip my own jeans when I was young. Younger, and it's basically like cutting two things and pulling out the threads So I think I'm gonna use that technique for distressing this tank top So I cut two horizontal strips and I want to pull out vertical threads from here and it'll just leave behind these vertical threads Theoretically <laughs> something else I've been noticing a lot is that in California People really really care about social status and that includes your image the people you know and stuff like that And it's overall like a little bit toxic and I've been trying to come to terms with it because I hate shit like drama between people but I do think it's really important to adapt to the different communities around me and that's why I think I'm like focusing a little bit more on my appearance I never really had the motivation until I realized how much it determines the friendships or other relationships that I have open to me I think my looks are always something that's going to be prioritized or valued in society and I just need to like lean into that I didn't have to do makeup today but i kind of wanted to experiment i feel good and i feel like i would have more confidence like this i'm also kind of really interested to see how the act of me doing more makeup will influence how people treat me this thing is really interesting to just like observe how human behavior works. What I wanna do is eventually slowly have an overhaul of my closet so that I only have pieces of my wardrobe that I truly, truly love. I literally just made the bottom of the shirt into a headband and it's kind of funny, but I kind of like it. <laughs> I just want my wardrobe also to have more basics that I can style differently. So I just feel like I look good in all the outfits that I wear because I only have clothes that make me feel good. That's why I'm like looking to buy more high quality basics that I can style differently. I recently just bought this 
this really pretty brown dress because I like the color brown and just neutrals. I think I'll be able to style in a lot of different contexts, which is good. And also this Nike shorts because I don't actually have that much proper gym wear and I think it's high quality and I'll feel good in it. So these are my final thrift flip clothings. I'm like really happy with them because this one really re-inspired my love for visual art. I've never been so happy for completing a visual artwork, but I really think it just comes down to when I'm inspired and when it's like expressing the way I feel. And I just think it's cool that I'm kind of finding love in art again after I spent my entire public school career doing it for college and not really feeling any attachment to the artwork I made. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>